Slick talker since a jet. When it's time, all the time, ooh. Yeah. Look at the way that I move. Swag. Disrespectful and I'm rude. Okay. I had cocaine in the school. Uh, when I want hell of a kid. I am. Smoking gas, drugging me. I'm lit. What you doing? I done did. I swear. Slick talker since a jet. Finesse. I know that this what they want. Facts. Run up some money, I'm gone. I'm a Yo, what's poppin' y'all? Merj here, man. We are back today to watch some more Bleach on the channel, guys. We're on episode 56, if I believe so. And guys, I'm I'm, I'm really enjoying trying to figure out, trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together on what the actual hell is going on in this damn show. It's, it's actually really fun to watch because there's little things that are just, you know... I guess hinting at some things in each episode, like Bianca's dialogue is very interesting. Last episode, like, what the hell is he on? You know, it's, it's very cool, you know, it's very interesting, you know, it's like, I don't know, you know, it's, it's tough. I can't, I can't figure it out. So it's fun. You know, I get to see more every episode. So it's cool. But yeah, guys, last episode, um, Bianca and Ichigo were about to go at it, but we didn't get into that fight yet. I hope we do get this episode or sooner or later, you know, whenever we do, but uh, Yoruchi, she came in last episode, she, I guess she was behind Ichigo, and she's taking on Soy Fon, I think that's her name, the captain that was beating the Squad 13's, uh, seats, asses, you know what I'm saying, those two guys, the chick specifically, but, uh, Yoruchi came in, she freaking flashed up her ass, uh, away, so I don't, they're probably gonna scrap here, Yoruchi literally did a key blast last episode, and freaking, I don't know, freaking huck, huck their ass off a clip. So we'll see how that goes. But they apparently have some history going on there. So that's interesting. We're probably going to get some backstory maybe on them sooner or later. But the main part of last episode, guys, was freaking Ukitake and the Squad A Captain versus Yamamoto, bro. Yamamoto took out the took off his shirt, bro. My man got a 16-pack popping, which is crazy, bro. He looks like a damn titan, but he is huge. He is freaking burning up, bro. Literally, he is on fire, bro. Somebody needs to douse this man with water, man. Somebody get Hitsugaya, bro. And I remember freaking, um, uh, Squad A Captain, he said that they have another ally on their side. So, I'm assuming he's probably talking about Hitsugaya. So, Hitsugaya should maybe, well, not specifically go to his location, but he should be helping out with somebody. But somebody needs to put freaking Yamamoto out, my guy. He's on Demon Time right now, bro. He's not playing no games, bro. He's speaking to them in the past tense. He's acting like he about to kill them. So, you know what I'm saying? We gotta... I don't know, man. He seems like a, a problem. Freaking, um, Squad Ace Lieutenant. I think Nanano? Nanao-chan or something like that. Nanao. Whatever her name is. She was... He said she was naive, bro. Freaking Yamamoto dropped her ass to the... Drop her... Made her drop to her knees, bro. By his pressure. So, <laughs> she, she said she's concerned about her captain's life. And we do know that uh, freaking Ukitake, he's sick. So, you don't even know how much he can provide in this battle right now. So, it might just end up being a one-on-one -on -one eventually. I feel like that's how it's going to go. Ukitake is going to have to not necessarily kick the bucket, but he's probably going to be incapacitated first in this battle, you know. So, we'll see how long he can hold out for it. But, Renji... He's managed to escape with Rukia, and I had a little prediction here, um, saw my outro last episode, I think, obviously, well, not, well, I don't think, not Renji, not, it's not actually, no, it's not tied to Renji, but it's tied to each guy, actually, but, um, but I do think Renji is going to get intercepted, he has to, he's definitely just not going to get away scot-free, um, I feel like Ichimaru might intercept her, intercept them, Renji and Rukia. Um, cause there's literally nobody around. All the captains seem to be busy at the moment. Obviously, you have Kenpachi, who's fighting Tosin, who's already out for the count now. Then you find the wolf captain right now. So they're preoccupied, and Soi Fon's preoccupied with, um, Yoruchi. Ichigo's handling Byakuya. We got a, we got Hitsugaya. He's probably going to the location. He might see Ichigo, unless he gets intercepted by, I'll get into that a little bit later, but, you know, like there's nobody there except Ichimaru right so he unless I'm mistake unless I forgetting a captain you know I don't think so if we do have Unohana who said she said she's going to some some place last episode I don't know where the hell she's going bro and her freaking I don't know if that's her Bankai or something but she's some some weird ass creature bro I don't know what the hell that was but it's interesting but so I, I do feel like it's Ichimaru is probably going to stop them because lieutenants are 
knocked out. So, yeah, it's got to be Ichimaru. Somebody has to. But we did see a, a couple episodes back, we did see a shadow following Hitsugaya and his lieutenant. And I'm wondering who the hell could that be? Who the hell are we missing in this story right now that has been pretty significant or kind of significant or just been in the background at least? And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, probably wrong, I don't know. But I feel like it could be two people. It could be Kira. Because Ichimaru did free Kira out of prison. We did see that. And we haven't seen Kira ever since. So there's a good chance that it could be Kira. The one that's uh, that's tailing Ichimaru. Not Ichimaru. Um, Hichigaya and Matsumoto I think her name is. That could be a possibility. Or it could be Hinamori. Last we saw Hinamori. Uh, she was knocked out and on a bed. And they're watching over her body. So you know she could have woken up. And you know maybe she still believes Hichigaya is the one that killed Aizen. You know. And also that freaking leather, but I, actually I don't. Besides the leather, I don't think it is Hinamori because I, I'm pretty sure the shadow uh, was pretty tall, so I doubt it. So I'm leaning towards it being Kira most likely, and I'm sure Kira has a certain purpose if Ichimaru is going to just break his ass out of prison, you know. Unless Ichimaru is just that kind and he cares for his lieutenant, but if he he's breaking the rules though, so you know that's kind of kind of sus. But the letter though, Aizen's letter. Um, I'm thinking that it, it's it's got to be it's it, we we don't know who tampered with the letter of course but I don't think what was said in the letter about Ruki's execution the supposed truth about it I feel like that may be a lie you know I feel like it destroying soul society the so 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 yo yo yoku that big ass Zanpakuto I feel like that might be a lie but at the same time why are you executing Rukia though you know it's it's like why you know we see the crimes that she did it's not that bad really it's not like it's like but why though you know some people obviously some captains think it's freaking ridiculous like you know ukitake and swade captain like they're like what the hell is going on here so it's like why if it's if the letter is not if the letter is lying why or maybe huh it's either something Honestly, I don't know. So somebody has to be. Uh, if the letter isn't true, but there is, would there be another reason why they're so obsessed about the execution that we just don't know about yet? Could people be spreading lies here? Like, what's up? Like, did somebody promise something? Like, if you execute Rukia, like Yamamoto, if you execute Rukia, I will give you something something like what and Biaki is very passionate about it as well like is somebody manipulating this is it Ichimaru is he like manipulating everybody and he's like promising people things that's not actually true and it's making people like believe to you know it's like giving them that incentive to maybe go through with it like I don't know it just doesn't make too much sense if I just, if the letter wasn't speaking the truth, if the letter was speaking the truth, why would you destroy soul society in the first place? What is the purpose of doing that? You know, that doesn't make too much sense to me. And Byakuya, why the hell would you agree with that? So I think Byakuya is being manipulated by somebody. I feel like I may be dead wrong, but it doesn't make sense on why he's so dead set on killing his sister, you know? He, he he he's being told lies or something i don't know but i rambled on for quite a while in this intro so we're just gonna hop straight into this episode and see are we gonna go off you know where what, what what place what what perspective are we gonna get so let's go uh, we got soy fun on they replaced freaking yamamoto with soy fun okay we're definitely gonna get new characters at the end of every after the opening my man got both eyes open, guys. He's not playing around, bro. Oh my god, bro. Does this man have... What, what, is on this, what is with the design on this man's beard, though? I said it was tattoos last episode. Obviously, you can't be, have tattoos on your beard. Like, what the hell? For, I'm talking about Yamamoto's beard. Look at this. Look, look at that, bro. What is this black line? My man, my man got Renji's drip on his beard, bro. Look at him. <laughs> but he cut up, bro. He been in battle. Y'all see this? All things in universe turn to ashes, bro. He about to give you all that ass whooping, guys. Yamamoto brought out the belt. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, freaking this dude. Oh, did he win his battle? 
Yo, he smacked. Oh, I mean, he's, he he did say he had that kiddo Zanpak toe, so he might he might have smacked him. You know, he was, he was holding him back. Yo, Kenpachi won? No way. Not 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 this easy. Don't tell me my man just body both captains like that, bro. One after the other. They fled. Oh. Oh, chill. No, that's actually horrible. They're gonna freaking team up against, uh, what's his name? Uh, Ukitake and, uh, Squad A Captain. That's not good. <laughs> Somebody has to stop them. That, that's, un that's hella unfair. <laughs> Are you surprised? But why he shaking his hips like that, bro? But we, we ain't in a strip club, bro. Chill. Okay. They're literally off screen 6 9, bro. <laughs> What is the true power? My man summoned a damn peacock. Y'all see that? Drained me of all my spirit energy. Oh, that's what he did. Is that why you just... Oh, bro. Look. Look at his ass, bro. Yamamoto is just like that freaking big-ass Zanpak toe, bro. Literally. Was that his or something, bro? He's definitely connected to that. Or something. Like, what the hell? He's burning. Felt this fear. Bro, he trapped y'all in freaking wall of flames yep like it said bro he gonna he gonna cut y'all to ashes turns all things in the universe to ash oldest of the fire types on pacto Eugene jaka hey bro like i said though get hit to guy and put his ass out bro even though i don't think it would happen but it's a good idea you know saying he has a water or ice or whatever he has he he does have water kind of so turn to ashes without a fight Nah, bro, I don't think that's the plan. Oh, chill. Let's see if Ukitake, Ukitake can keep up. Okay, let's go. Sauce up. Lightning strike now and become my blade. Oh, my man. My man giving us a whole damn poem. Oh, oh he got an R. Oh, oh, uh, an N? <laughs> an H? Uh, this, he dual wielding, doesn't he, right? He's a dual wielder. Cool, cool. Oh, he got ridges. My man, my man got that Inosuke swag. I'm assuming that's their Shikai forms. Dual. Okay, they're both dual wielders. The only two dual wielders. The most chill ass captains. You ready for your punishment? Anytime. See, I'm just concerned about U Ukitake, bro. How long can he hold out? Damn! Oh, they blew, they blew that wall of flames away. Is this G Bondo? Oh, G Dombo. <laughs> Okay, why are we sh why are we showing him right now? Or Ime? Five days. Oh, is that freaking Ganju's sister, bro? Oh, she back. Yeah, go assist your damn brother. Go assist your damn brother. Let me look, look, she looks just like Kayan. <laughs> but she came all the way here. If you're root, okay. I mean. I mean, it shouldn't be bad news. Hopefully not. You're not gonna turn on turn on this, are you? You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be bad news. Oh, oh. She's still flash stepping. Oh, that was unexpected. Damn. Okay. They going at it. Okay. They both flexible. It seems like freaking. Oh, that sauce. They tore the leaf in half. <laughs> Your Ruji just smiling. Oh, damn. With the roast, clapping back. Okay, so she she already knew that he was in uh, uh Yoruchi was probably in cahoots with Ichigo based on the uh, symbol on his damn coat. Four great noble clans. Okay, so Yoruchi's part of the Shiho Hoi Hoi clan, and as it was with the Shiba clan, so it's one of the great noble families with the Shiba clan and probably the Kuchiki family. I'm assuming. Your senior that you adored. Being my successor. Oh, damn. Okay, so that's... Okay, they got history then. History, like that. I'm the one who's in charge. I'm the boss, but I'm very concerned about Ryuchi. I mean, this chick has a Zanpak toe, and Ryuchi doesn't have a Zanpak toe. You know what I'm saying? She's not no Soul Reaper, so... I hope we see a bag of trips, uh, tricks from her ass, hopefully, but I don't know. Your time has passed. Your time has come, Ryuchi. Oh, you sugar rich. Oh, chill. Oh, we got Samurai. Oh, we got ninjas, bro. We. Oh, no, no, no. We're not jumping right here. No, we're not jumping right now. Come on. Oh, this is unfair, bro. But oh, this is a fair fight. Why are we jumping? 
Oh, damn. Okay, we find to the death now. Okay. And she about to smile. <laughs> oh, you're rich. Oh, my gosh. She's so fast, guys. Look at that, bro. Speed blitzing all these damn ninjas. And she shook. Come on. You playing. You, you naive. Remember. Oh. Flash. Oh, yeah. I about to say. Flash. Mm. Bro, why is she taking off her... Oh, she... Oh, she getting ready. She ready to go. Okay, this this, this is a fight to the death. So, Iruchi, you got to sauce up here. Oh, she know. Okay, so she okay. She th she thinks she up there in the flashed up game like Iruchi. No, hold back. Think back more. Damn. Oh, she about to flash up, isn't she? <laughs> oh, okay. Blocked. Easy. Slight. Oh, she about to. She about to. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, dang. Okay, smack it. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay, she holding her own. I don't know. I feel I feel like this chase way too cocky. <laughs> Damn right, you got a bruise. Oh, your Ruchi drew blood. Oh no, she drew blood on your Ruchi. Oh, with the oh, oh, oh. your Ruchi, come on, come on, your Ruchi. What the hell? Yo, what the hell? Oh, chill, your Ruchi flashed up. Is that her freaking Shikai form? Oh, what the hell? Yo, what is going on? I was holding back earlier. Damn. Bro, she's tripping. <laughs> okay, then prove it then. P finish us off. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, chill. Oh, we got a butterfly on the titties now? What's, what's going on? Is that some kind of curse mark? With <laughs> My Suzambachi. He hadn't perfected it. She's shaking right now. Now take a second hit. Oh, chill! Okay. The fact that you're talking behind her back. <laughs> okay, Richie looks like she dodged. Okay, we're taking this battle to the forest. Okay. Oh, no. Another one? Oh. That's more targets. Oh, she leveled up. Oh, chill. What the hell was that? She... Oh, chill. Oh, she going with the high kick. Y'all see that? Oh, chill, bro. Freaking acrobat. What the hell? Yo, she just grabbed her foot and locked her other... She just grabbed her foot and locked her other foot with both of her damn feet, bro. My God, she's crazy. But what the hell was that, bro? Did she... Were her, like, boots rigged with freaking knives? What the hell? Better block that. You got the arms. Oh, no. You got your face. See, is this her freaking Shikai or is this her Bankai? You know, I can't tell, you know what I'm saying? She, she didn't... I don't know. <laughs> oh, chill. She's not playing. Look at that spiritual pressure. Look, she, she's swirling dust around her ass, bro. She getting herself dirty. It's a fighting technique that combines Hakudo and Kido. See, you're... See, you're Yoruchi's not even tripping though. She she's not shaking. She's not sweating. Like I, I don't know. I'm not concerned for Yoruchi's life at all. You know. Wait. Is she does she have it? Oh no. She probably developed it on her own. Oh chill. And Kiddo envelops the user's back and shoulders. Oh chill. Yeah, like you 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 stole my move. You man. <laughs> You're just like, I I'm going to show you what this is really like. <laughs> so what's up then? Show out. Well, I look sick with the butterfly. Like, I stole your move. This is my first. <laughs> oh, she looks sauce. <laughs> Yo, she not playing around. Oh, what the hell? Might as well destroy the whole damn forest, Yoruchi. What the? Yeah, uh, is that it? <sighs> I don't know, I think, oh. Oh, I think that might be a GG for Soy Fawn, it looks like. I don't know, man. I don't know. That was, I don't know, Yoruchi, she, Yoruchi's not concerned. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, she she looked like she had it in the bag, and it, she, she, looked like she took care of business right there, bro. She just blasted the damn forest. She blasted Soy Fawn, so we'll see the aftermath of this battle, but it's cool. This is the first actual fight we've seen Yoruchi in, you know? So, and she was pressured too, so it was cool to see, but, you know, I was very interested to see how she would fare, because obviously she's not a Soul Reaper and doesn't have a Zanpakuto, so it's like, 
what kind of moves would she be using, you know? Obviously, we know she's a flash step goddess and stuff. And this chick tried to take that title away from her. Probably not going to happen, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I was just wondering what she was going to do. So it seems like this is it. And she's crazy, bro. So it's, it's cool to see. But anyway, freaking Yamamoto and uh, Ukitake um, and I need to get this dude's name, bro. Freaking Squad A Captain. They started their battle. We saw their freaking, I'm assuming that's their Shikai forms, bro. They're the only two dual wielders in Soul Society. It looks kind of sick, bro. See, look at this, bro. They're the only two dual wielders. They're Shikai forms, bro. I can't wait until they freaking unveil their Bankais because I feel like they're definitely going to be pressured to do that. Um, Because, you know, Yamamoto's a problem right now, guys. His Zanpak Toe, they said it has the strongest attack power and it's like the oldest fire Zanpak Toe. So it's crazy. And freaking Ukitake, bro. My man literally has two H's as a freaking uh, sword, bro. Look at this. It's an H, bro. Look. My man got the rigid like Inosuke, bro. Freaking uh, Squad A captain. So they're ready to sauce up. But I guess hey, Yamamoto looks like a problem, guys. You know what I'm saying? But And also Ukitake, how long can he hold out even? You know what I'm saying? Like last time we saw him, you know, when he was fighting the Hollow, two hits, he's done. You know what I'm saying? He was bleeding from the mouth. So he's probably. Not going to last long, you know what I'm saying? I, I, if I see him last long, guys, I'll give him the benefit of that. I'll, I'll give him props for right now. I was like, ugh, how much can he really do, you know what I'm saying? I feel like he's just going to be useless at a point here, so we'll see. But this fight is probably going to get real interesting very soon because freaking Kenpachi, what Kenpachi said. So freaking uh, Tosin and uh, the Wolf Captain, they freaking fled, and they're going to head towards... um. Uh, the cat, the fight with uh, uh, Yamamoto is so they're probably going to want to assist in that battle. Um, and they're probably gonna be hella confused on why freaking Yamamoto is fighting two captains, or who knows, they, they might switch up. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But they're obviously Yamamoto supporters, they literally ride Yam Yamamoto's dick hard. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I mean, he did apparently have some sort of strong bond with him in the first place when they first met his ass, you know what I'm saying. Like on some Black Clover stuff with the Wizard King and all them damn captains. But, you know, they have that they have that strong connection. So, they're probably going to help. I don't know if they're going to butt in. You know what I'm saying? Yamamoto may be like, this is my fight. Don't butt in. I don't want any of y'all freaking taking this away from me. I'm finding these two. Get the hell out of here. Or, they're just going to force their way in. And they might freaking sneak attack uh, Ukitake and uh, Squad A Captain. So, that's definitely something to look forward to and see. But... Hitsugaya, we haven't seen him. No Ichimaru. They're literally leaving these guys out for a reason. Why? Why are they leaving them out, bro? You know what I'm saying? They're they're just they're they're not they're not non-existent right now. You know what I'm saying? But no Ichigo. This is just a Yoruchi episode, pretty much. Just all Yoruchi and her fight, and we we saw how saucy was, and we saw her, I guess, freaking junior Soi Fan. Obviously, go at it. Her, her and Soi Fan go at it. So, yeah, that was pretty much what this episode was just about, you know. Uh, Soi Fan's freaking um, Zanpak Toe. I can't tell if this is her Bon Kai or this is her Shikai form. Obviously, um, most of the time, I mean, they Ryaki did say when uh, a captain or anybody learns Bon Kai, they don't have to, when, during the Renji fight, they don't have to freaking say, call their Zanpak Toe to use their Shikai form anymore. So, Obviously, she knows Bankai, but obviously, with most with most captains, when they've used their Bankai, like with Balkia, with Mayuri, who Mayuri, I forgot about his ass, but they they say Bankai, you know, what I'm saying like Ryaka said Bankai, and Mayuri said Bankai versus Ishida, but this shit didn't say Bankai, so I'm assuming this might be her Shikai form, but at the same time, I'm like, why would you hold back against Jiruchi, you know? So I'm not too sure what this is. It looks really unique, so I don't know. But some Shikai forms do look unique as well. But yeah, I, I'm very interested. Uh, maybe maybe the fight's actually not over if this isn't her Bankai. You know, she might bring out her Bankai against Yoruchi. You know, Yoruchi may may not win this. I don't know. So definitely something to look forward to. But actually, speaking of Mariri, he should be recovering now. You know, depending on how long ago that fight was, he did say a couple of days after he liquefied and stuff. You know, he should be coming around sooner or later, right? You know, I wonder what what he's going to do or what he's going to think of the situation. He really d d didn't get any of his thoughts on the execution. So I feel like he I feel like he's one of those captains that don't care as well. Make a Kenpachi. He really just cares about his own agenda and freaking 
experimenting on people for himself. He doesn't really care about political affairs or something like that. That's that's the type of vibe I get from him. But if he does come back, though, which I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if he does, like, what what's his role going to be? Like, that's one captain that is missing, you know? So, who knows? That, who could Freaking Marjorie may be that damn shadow uh, uh, that was following his guy. I don't know. I doubt it, though. <laughs> but, you know, it could be a possibility. So, yeah, what's his role going to be, you know? What's, is he just going to ignore it? Is he going to fight somebody? Like, what's up? And obviously, we have Ganju's sister here. Um, interesting. Why is she being brought up into the story now? Obviously, she she's at the Rukon district, which is... Or that little town in the Rukon district, which is literally right outside of Sereti. If that's where Jindampo is staying, you know, I wouldn't suspect that they would have moved Jindampo's body far away, you know, while he's freaking taking a nap. But, um, yeah, so she's literally right outside of Sereti, and she's literally near, uh, the, the battlefield where all this is taking place. So, why introduce her now? What's her, uh, what's her, what's her, what's, what's gonna be her role here? I mean, I'm, like, why is she coming? She, she, she has some business with Yoruchi? How? Why, why does she have business with Yoruchi all of a sudden, you know? Like, what's that about? She doesn't seem like, she didn't say she's coming here to assist Ichigo, Ganju, and them. It's just strictly Yoruchi. And why, and why is she talking to Jidamba right now? Is Jidamba gonna get involved here as well, you know? Is he gonna be her damn bodyguard or something? Like, what, what's up with that? But, so, like, it's interesting. Did Urahara contact her? Because we do know that she does have... I guess a connection with Urahara, I mean, you know, she said if it's a, uh, in the first place, she said if it's a request from Urahara when we first saw her, she said she can't deny it, so either Urahara contacted her some way and freaking Urahara has something to relate to Yoruchi, or, I don't know, like, what what kind of business would she have? I'm thinking it might be Urahara or something, I don't know, he might, he might be trying to warn us about something, I don't know, but it's interesting why she's just showing up now, so. And how the hell she got here so fast? Maybe she just cannonball cannonballed herself here. Or she just walked. I don't know. Yoruchi using Shunko, which uh, freaking Soy Fan said is a combination of Hakuda and uh, freaking Keto. So uh, that's crazy. But Yoruchi obviously knew it, and freaking this chick thought, nah, we don't, we don't know it. You know what I'm saying? I made this myself. I just recently made it, but. I guess Yoruchi, maybe Yoruchi just recently made it because she says she doesn't have much control over it, you know, at the end of the episode there. So, that's real interesting, but, yeah, it, it's crazy. It literally used her own technique against her at the end there, and she seems more experienced with it, so she has the advantage here. But, as I said, she might still have a Bankai hidden, you know, this might not be her Bankai, I don't know. So, this fight was cool, but I'm excited to see the next episode. I hope we get Ichigo and Byakuya soon. I'm very excited to see that, you know, I want to see Ichigo fight since we just been seeing his ass training for like a long ass time now and I want to see the results of his training, I want to see if he, if he has Bankai as well, you know, and yeah, I want to see him beat Byakuya's ass, you know what I'm saying, I want to see I want to see him get in Byakuya's ass, you know what I'm saying, you know, Byakuya got in our ass freaking that first time, freaking broke our Zompak toe, you know, we need to break his in revenge, so we 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 not having that in these streets. So Ichigo, you gotta beat his ass. So hopefully he he gets that fight soon, and we could see Ichigo's Bankai. I'm so excited for that. If he does have it, I don't know if he has it yet. But by the way he's presenting himself, he should have it. Just but that's the vibe I'm getting. But oh my god, that's gonna be it for this video. So if you like this video, don't forget to drop it a like, guys. If you're new channel, don't forget to subscribe, man. And yeah, stay tuned for some more Bleach on the channel. Peace. Thank you.